These cafeterias are coloured red and green. This colour scheme continues well within Parliament, to the corridors, debating chambers and the taxpayer-funded shooting galleries you will find inside, supposedly to help keep the two houses within separate in order to avoid corruption. Yeah. So the two houses, we have our House of Lords and our House of Commons. House of Lords represented by Red. They are unelected and instated by the monarch for their honour and have made our decisions made by our House of Commons, represented by The tower did recently undergo renovation, with scaffolding being removed in November. It's said that those that worked on the tower had a nice paid holiday afterwards, as they were very tired, due to the fact they had been working around the clock. Coming up on your right there, you'll see the world famous London Eye. Standing at 135 metres tall, this is the world's tallest cantilevered observation wheel. <laughs> cantilevered meaning supported from only one side, as opposed to a ferris wheel. Around the sides, you'll find 32 observation pods, one pod for every borough of Greater London. However, these pods are actually numbered 1 through 33. So don't be surprised if you find architecture. The National Theatre was voted as the ugliest building in the UK, but our very own King Charles III stating it specifically looked like the back end of a nuclear power station. Now, I haven't seen many of those in my time, so do not know if this is accurate. But what I do know is that it is what's on the inside that counts. So once inside the National, you'll find three gorgeous theatres. They are often used as launch pads for many shows that go on to have successful West End and Broadway runs. The more recent examples of shows to receive West End transfers, include the motive in the queue, standing at the sky's edge and the crucible. Now next up ahead of you on your right, that red building with the tower on top. Those of you familiar with the British stock queue company OXO, to pay off England's debts three times over. So how did we punish him for his piracy? We didn't. We gave him a knighthood and an estate. Just goes to show that the nurture and suggest one bridge genuinely kept falling down. We'll have a bit more on that on the way back though. In the meantime, if I can now remind everyone on the top deck to please remain seated. We want to make sure everyone can get the photos they want without you in them. So do please be mindful of those around you. Once again, do remain seated. Next up on your right, you may struggle to see it as it is currently in camouflage. But this 12,000 ton battleship is the HMS Belfast. It was built in the same box as the Titanic, but went on to have a much more successful career. It plays an integral role in the Second World War ships to fire shots at the D-Day landing, as well as being the ship responsible for sinking Hitler's boat, the Scharnhorst. The guns on board can shoot up to 12 miles away and are currently aimed at the M1 service station in Scratchwood. So if you could drive in today, we recommend planning toilet trips accordingly. But now, for a bridge that even Taylor Swift would be proud of, we have Tower Bridge. It is vascular, meaning seesaw in French, as the centre goes open up to allow tall ships three. The bascules weigh 1,100 tons each. They take a minute and a half to fully open and 90 seconds to fully close. And in its first year of operating, its estimated tower bridge would have risen about 6,000 times. That is, though, it is a lot rarer. However, if you do have 24 hours notice and a tall enough ship, they will happily open tower bridge up to you for free, and river traffic takes priority over road traffic. The only day of the year they will not open tower bridge is the day of the London Marathon, due to the fact it would be very difficult to run over an open bridge. Now, there's an old sailor's legend that says that if you get away from someone on Tower Bridge, you do get five years good luck. And I don't know about you guys, but after the year I've had, I need all the good luck that I can get. So that's what I guys. Make some noise, get waving. We've already got some of those over there. You pay the five pounds an hour to stand up waving us. We'll get the fifty bonus this year. Come on, guys, get away. You can be better than that. Okay, so now. I'm going to my support for their government, no, 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 to support the fire. They chanted, burn, parliament, burn, with one man being arrested for excessive cheering. On your right there, you will see our MPs over the now opening bridge. By the time he just realized this, him and his double-decker bus, as well as all of his passengers on board, were on one of the rising arts. He has two options. He could break suddenly, risking the lives of everyone on board, or he could accelerate and try to jump the gap. He went to option two, successfully jumping enough three foot gap that had opened. He was rewarded with an entire day off of work and 
can hold pounds. Guess I went a lot further back then, eh? So, Laura, this is where our highly elected governing officials and monarchy would go, and they do have nuclear bunkers down there to save their lives. 